businesses. All right, guys, we're here with our new mechanical room today. And what we have here is what we call in BC a P9 system. And typically what that is, it's a tankless hot water heater with a hydronic furnace or, as you know, a air handler. Uh, what's so special about these that I like is that I can have a single gas line and a single venting so I don't have to vent twice nor do I have to deal with two separate appliances because the tankless pretty much does everything. And we have Matt at Pro West over here which he is going to explain to us what's so special about this new iFlow and what it does for us. Yeah, so thanks Terrence. So last year Navian uh, did a redesign on the NPEA2 model and iFlow also did a few upgrades to their unit too as well. So if you look at all the sensors within the system, there's an outdoor sensor that's wired back to the iFlow. We have a DH evaporator sensor wired right here that's looking at the suction line. So if this is a heat pump application or an air conditioner, it's monitoring what that suction line is doing. We also have an AC evaporator sensor that's on top of the coil. We have a uh, supply air temperature sensor, we have a return air temperature sensor, as well as we have a humidity sensor, and we have supply water temperature sensor. So why that's important is the iFlow is actually looking at all the temperatures within the system. It's modulating the temperature onto the tankless hot water heater. It will change it as two temperatures. It has a heating temperature and it has a supply heat temperature. So it's basically just outdoor reset, similar to what a hydronic boiler would have. So pretty much when it does that, it just means that we have more savings in gas, electricity exactly. and everything That's else. That's exactly right? it. So if you look at um, on these systems uh, together in a combined application, uh, almost always they will outperform any conventional furnace or heat pump on the market because there's more variables and with hydronics um, you can modulate water much better. So one new feature on the NPEA2 tankless is they've increased the turndown. So that means we have a minimum modulation and turn down down to the unit of 13,300. So quite often in the furnish industry, um, they would oversize appliances. You'd have a single stage, two stage, or even a modulating, but most of those appliances can't modulate uh, below 35%. This has a 15 to one turn down ratio. It's highest in the industry. Awesome, so if you guys wanna know more detail and you wanna get more training, uh, here's Matt with Pro West. You guys can find Matt Feel at Pro West. And again, it's iFlow with our Navian.